What are SQL views and how can you create them? In this video, you'll learn what a view is and how to create one in SQL. Views are a great feature of the SQL language and I'll show you why. I use them regularly to save effort and to clean up code in my projects. Let's get into the video. So what is a view? A view is an object stored in the database. It works like a table, but it's actually just a select statement that refers to other tables. It's essentially a saved SQL select statement in the database. You can select from this view instead of selecting from the tables directly. Let's take a look at an example. Let's say we wanted to create a view that showed a couple of columns from this Olympic Games table here. So what do we want our view to look like? I find it easiest to start by creating the select query that should be used for the view. So step one is to write the select query like this. I only want to see the ID, the games year and the season columns. So my query looks like this. We can run the query and see the results. We have a list of Olympic games, the year they occurred and the season, whether they are summer or winter. So now we have our query, how do we create a view? Step two is to add the words create view before the select statement. This will tell the database that we want to create a new view. Now we can't just leave it like this. The create view command needs to include the name for the new view. So step three, we add a name for the view. This goes after the create view keyword. In this example, we've called the view Olympic Games List. We then add a space and then the as keyword to specify that the view is created as this following select query. Finally, step four is that we run the command to create the view. When you run the command, you'll get some kind of a message to say that the view is created successfully. The exact message and where it's shown will depend on your IDE, which is the program you're using, and your database. In MySQL with MySQL Workbench here, there'll be a message at the bottom. In Oracle or SQL Server or PostgreSQL, you'll see something similar. Now we have created the view, how do we use it? We can select from the view. This is done by simply selecting the columns or star from the view name. We can then run this query. We can see the results here. There are many benefits of using a view, such as security and reducing complexity of queries. There are also many features of using views, which depend on each database, such as updating data using views and creating materialized views, which I've covered in other videos on my channel. So there we have it. That's how you can create a view on a database. If you learned something new from this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn more about database design and SQL development, visit databasestar.com. That's where I share my best database related content. Which step from this tutorial was the most helpful for you? Was it the tip on writing the select query before creating the view or the fact that a view is just like a saved SQL select query or something else? Comment below and thanks for watching.